everybody and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to look at how to solve for the number of years in a compound interest formula. Now, solving for the number of years is a bit different from the other ones because in this case, we will have to use logs. If you have not done logs as yet, you will be doing this in grade 12 or later in, the, in your maths career. So wait until then so that it makes more sense. Let us go on to an example. So we've only got one example here and it says calculate the number of years for an investment to double at an interest rate of 10.5% per annum. So this is a common question where they don't specify the amount, it just specifies the relationship. So for our principle, we can let it be any variable, let's call it X. And our accumulated amount, it doesn't matter what you put in the principle as long as your accumulated amount is double that. Our interest rate is 10.5% per annum. And we are wanting to know what is the number of years that it would take for it to double. So putting in our compound angle formula, we have A is equal to 1 plus I to the power of N. Our A we're going to put in as 2x and our principal is x. We have 1 plus 0 0.105 and remembering that we state our interest rate as either a decimal or a, or a fraction of 100 and never just 10.5. So we would like to solve for n, so let's try and get everything by the, in the bracket by itself. So we First, divide both sides by x, and then we get 2 is equal to 1, 105 to the power of n. Now, what we have it is in a form to use the log. So, when using logs, the exponent becomes the subject. So, we have n is equal to log. The base of your log is the same as the base of the exponent. So, in this case, it would be 1, 105. And then on the other side, there's a two. So in then substituting this, we get that um, n is equal to log to base of one comma one o five and two, and we get six comma nine four years. That is how long it would take any amount to double and an interest rate of 10.5% per annum compounded annually. Thank you for watching this video and please watch our other videos on compound interest so that you can understand how to do the calculations. Thank you for watching. Bye.